We've got Pro Football Weekly snap judgments from the championship games. And Eric, is there any doubt that we had the four best teams in the league playing in these championship games? I don't think there's any question. We had two outstanding games. You know, the first one almost went overtime, probably should have gone overtime. Second one did. You know, you knew it was going to come down to a, some sort of gap on one side or the other. Two offenses were not moving, but people still love defense. That's the thing I kind of took out of just watching Twitter throughout the game and just uh, personally witnessing these two contests. People still love it. It's not just about the scoreboards in these games. You couldn't really ask for much more out of these games. You know, as close as they were, they came down to the end. Usually you want to see who's going to be the hero at the end of the game. For this time, though, it was really who the goats were. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, uh, Billy Cundiff, Lee Evans, you know, Kyle Williams, we're going to hear their names a lot. And you got to feel terrible for these guys. You know, you realize the uh, football game is, what, 150, 160, 170 plays. Two or three mistakes are obviously going to cost the team. But to have them happen in the final minute of the game with a chance to go to the Super Bowl, you've got Ray Lewis on one side, you've got Alex Smith on the other, Joe Flacco. These guys want to prove so many people wrong, and their teammates let them down. But you have to feel awful for these guys. I mean, nobody wants to be in that position, obviously. Yeah, you'd love to see someone make a great play to win and said to see it this way. And there were so many good performances. Yeah. It's terrible. It came down to that. But now that we've got our Super Bowl matchup, it's a rematch. You're going to hear about it all the time from the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. But it's also a rematch from earlier this season, yeah. the Giants and the Patriots. What can we learn from that game since it's a little more recent that maybe will help us out in the Super Bowl? Well, the great game theme would probably play in again because that one came right down to the wire. Eli Manning was the fourth quarter hero. And I think that kind of started the talk about him being such a clutch quarterback this season in the fourth quarter. So what we learned is that, uh, you know, Tom Brady was getting beat up by that Giants defensive line. I mean, it's just going to be interesting to see if they can score more points. Only had 20 in that contest, and the Giants then lost four straight. It was a very strange part of the season for them. So they weren't even playing their best football at this point. I will note, though, in 2007, Patriots beat the Giants in the regular season, lose the Super Bowl. This time the Giants got them in the regular season. We'll see how it ends up in the Super Bowl, obviously. But Giants were not playing their best football when they beat the Patriots in New England. So you've got to think the Giants sort of come in as the favorites of this game. And it's so much different than the last time around. The Patriots aren't undefeated. Yeah. But get ready to hear David Tyree's name about a million times over the next couple of weeks. That's our snap judgments from Championship Weekend for the best coverage of the league. Check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.